I think there's a taboo around death and dying in the UK, predominantly because we live a long time. Um, and I suppose also it's fair to say that we no longer live in communities where death is seen as part of the community's experience. I think it's important to talk about death whatever stage of life we're at, so that when death comes, it will always be sad. One can't take away that, and that's the way death is, because we are attached to people and people that we love particularly, and therefore we feel a real sense of, of loss and sadness. But that we feel in the midst of that that there has been preparation. For us at St Christopher's, what we've done is to begin um, a weekly Thursday night death chat. We run for two hours uh, and we enable um, the local community around us, together with people who've been bereaved, with patients, family members, carers, to come together to have a conversation about some theme around death and dying, to promote a healthy attitude to death and dying, to think about things which might otherwise be considered taboo, and to recognise that everybody goes through what will be a common experience. We've had patients have come along and said, my family members and friends won't talk about this. Whenever I try to raise the subject of my dying, they just tell me it'll be okay, or they tell me not to talk about it, or they start crying. But I need a place where I can say what I feel and think. Unless um, groups within society are willing to um, begin the conversations around death, dying, loss, change, uh, bereavement, and all the things that are associated with death, the, the tipping point will never come. So there will never be a, a movement to finally say, yes, we do really need to be open and honest about death and dying and recognise that it's the one common experience we share alongside our birth.